It's midnight now, and at 3 a.m. I have to take the bus from Paris to Brussels, Belgium. It's a four-hour trip, and I go there because I have to film something there for a client. Let's get ready first, and then we have to take the bus to the big Paris station, and then take another bus from Paris to Brussels. It's a four hours and a half trip. But it's uh, the night, it's uh, from 3 a.m. to, I don't know, 8 a.m. I don't know. So I guess I'm going to sleep in the bus. It's fine. Okay, let's get ready. It's 1 a.m. and I'm waiting for the first bus to go to Paris and have the big bus station and take the, the big bus to, uh, to Brussels, Belgium. So now I have to wait uh, 20 minutes and it's uh, around 1 a.m. Right, so I, I took the first bus and now I have to take the second bus. It's 2 a.m. I have to wait uh, one hour because the bus from Paris to Brussels is at 3 a.m. so and I want to sleep <laughs> yeah I just think the first part, it's the, the course, is for social media. It's like portrait video. So now it's time for to get lunch. So let's go. After that, it's like uh, practical stuff. And it's a beauty client, so it's very interesting because I know nothing about beauty, so I learn. Okay, so I went back home and uh, it just felt like I didn't sleep for two days, but I'm fine. If you are starting as a filmmaker, I want to give you some advice. I think that the first advice that I can give you is to just shoot some stuff with uh, your friends or do some fake ads because you need to show your work to the client. Or you can just find some client, you go in places by yourself and you propose for them uh, your service as a filmmaker for free so you can have data because when you start you have nothing to show so they can't really trust you so what you can do is to talk with them and shoot for free but you know you can always negotiate and uh, uh, get paid you can like ask for i don't know 100 200 euro or dollars i don't know but at least you have something it's better than zero you need to have some footage to show right so you have to start somewhere or you ask some friends and you have something to show to your future client or you meet the client and you just propose a free service or maybe very very low price because it's better than zero and remember that your service your product your videos have to be very professional product 
has to be good. So you have to film and produce professional footage. I'm going to take myself as an example. When I started, I just had like some footage from my channel or with some friends and I showed what I could do. My first client really liked the quality and uh, uh, everything. So he took me for the job. You just need to take action, learn the skills to produce great video and uh, film with some friends, uh, go outside and meet people and propose your service. And yeah, that's it. You just have to do something. All right, let's go.